how you doing, Tom? This is your good buddy, Bill Levy. Just speaking to you from Florida. And I am telling you that you are a liar. You say that you're not afraid of anybody. But the truth of the matter is, you're ter terrified of everybody. You're a little crybaby. I mean, you you got Sanford White and Tommy Scarcello and all these knuckleheads convinced that you're the ultimate truth, you know, person around. And to be honest with you, you don't even have an education. But you're the pastor. You're the world pastor. You're the world garbage. That's what you are. You're just a piece of garbage. You're a, a no good reprobate. And that's what you are. Hey, good buddy. I mean, while we're at it, why don't you tell the people how you had Susan Alamo's body for months in the house and you had people every single day, every morning, every hour of every day praying that Susan was going to be revived. And the truth of the matter was you had it in there rotting. Her body was rotting. And then there was you telling people that Susan was coming back to Earth. <laughs> Give me a break! Oh, you're a riot! You are a riot! And then, <laughs> afterwards, you go and haul her carcass away and you bring it out of town <laughs> for months and months and months actually for years and years and years you had her carcass put into a, a, a storage facility <laughs> now let's let's take up with how important Susan Alama was to you she was a whore. Let's get it squared away. She was a piece of trash. She was a nothing. Except she was a partner to yours who ended up in hell. Now, we all know, Tony, that you have weapons. And you've had weapons. You've had weapons for years. You've had weapons 30 years or better. I mean, I know that you've had weapons. We all know that you've had weapons. I mean, we've all seen it. And you're just afraid. Stop. So, Tony, do you want to tell people that Susan Alamo brought guns down to the restaurant? It's true, you know. We remember it. Hey, Tone. You don't remember so well. But do you remember me taking you down to Fort Smith, Arkansas? And we had Ed buy you an Uzi? You forgot that, huh? Oh, my goodness. Such a liar. Such a liar. Hey there, Tony. I mean, you are quite something else. I mean, you are so puffed up. And you think that you are so great. I mean, you actually had, sp had spent hundreds of thousands of dollars just to, to put your your tr your tracks and your nonsense 
onto recordings and then you went ahead and sent them to Zimbabwe and other places <laughs> around town where you gave them away to savages for free. Tony, I guess you must have made a big major mistake because I'm not dead. I'm so alive that it's ridiculous and I'm having a lot of fun messing with you because you're nothing but a little punk. You pissed your pants and shit your pants when they came after you. You're such a scaredy cat, little baby boy. Ah, I just want to give a shout out to little Ben Edwards. That little moron. I mean, you, Don Sweat, Thorn, Don Thorn, and all you idiots out there. I'm coming to see you. I'm going to come right into town and I'm going to come see you. And I'm going to see who's the hog there. Who, who be the dog? Certainly not you guys. You guys are afraid of your own shadow.